The U.S. Air Force Band of the Pacific and Hawaii's ensemble called Papana performed several shows during the 73rd Annual Liberation Day celebrations, giving patrons at the Outrigger Resort a show to get them in the spirit. It's really an honor and a privilege for us to be out here to celebrate the history of Guam and um, to, to really thank the, the community out here as well for their support of the Air Force and uh, Air Force initiatives over at Anderson. Liberation Day is the celebration of Guamanians after being freed from Japanese occupation during World War II. They celebrate with a parade, floats, and military marching units. The U.S. Air Force Band of the Pacific and Hawaii weren't the only show in town this week. The 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force Band also came out to support Liberation Day. Both bands participated in community outreach events and were the main performances during a concert held at the Liberation Day Carnival. And playing here in Guam brings the band back to their roots. Our heritage goes back to the 3rd Marine Division, which is the, the division that came here and liberated Guam. So it, it's extra special. You know, we're, we're here just keeping that, that legacy going. The 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force Band, also known as the 3rd Meth Band, performed popular music from the 50s through present day and kept the crowd entertained at Chamorro Village following the parade. They're doing a great job, mix up with uh, different kinds of music. Sounds like they're having a great time. People are having a great time. You look at the crowd, people are sitting around listening to it. Sounds great. Papana performed patriotic tunes while their audience watched fireworks fill the sky over the shoreline. Reporting from Hagatnya, Guam, I'm Technical Sergeant Brian McGee. Defense Media Activity in Guam covers military news and information you won't find anywhere else. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.